Alright guys, it's Ryan here again from Arcade's Avocat Show. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get PSX, the PlayStation 1, emulator and ROMs. I said PSX, so that's what it's also known as. Alright, so right there, if you guys can see that, that is the symbol or icon you will have after you are complete. Alright guys, um, I'm just going to tell you this ahead of time. I uh, personally cannot do a demo of this, because I currently do not have any of the ROMs installed because these are pretty big files and take up a lot of space on your iPod and uh, quite frankly I'm just kinda maxed out I mean you guys can see I got a lot of stuff on here and uh, it also takes a very long time to uh, get into your iPod it takes almost about two hours okay guys so uh, just be aware of that or be ready for it but uh, nonetheless I'm still going to show you how to get it I just I'm not going to give you a demo because I currently don't have any so uh, I apologize for that but I'm still going to try to get it alright um, this does involve SSHing, so if you guys do not know how to do that, I will post a link in the description. Uh, it's Kevin's video on how to SSH, and it's really simple and easy to follow, so just follow that step by step and you guys should be good, okay? So, uh, if you guys didn't know, so just click on Cydia. We're going to let this load up. Oh. Sorry for the wait, guys. Alrighty here. Be ready for another reloading session. It's been acting funny with me lately. Alright, so far, so good. Okay. Once everything's loaded up here, I want you to click on search. Okay, guys, search. And I want you to search P S X Okay. PSX and you should bring you a file that looks like this. PSX for iPhone. Okay. Uh great, sorry reloading. Okay, but PSX for iPhone is what you're gonna want to search or just simply PSX. Click on that, that is your emulator and download it, okay? PSX for iPhone. It's your emulator. Uh, luckily I got that in before I started reloading, so I'm just going to back out now. Okay guys, uh, now you'll notice on your home screen, you should see the PlayStation icon right there, okay? However, you do not have any ROMs or BIOS of the sort, okay guys? So, here I'm going to take you to my computer. Uh, by the way, here's the channel. Come back to us for more iPod Touch needs, okay guys? Looking for that subscriber number to go up there. Seems to be sticking around that, so if you guys can help us out with that, give us some more views, alright? Anyways, I'm going to take you to this site. Okay, guys? This is going to be your bio that you need to get. Also, in the meantime, you're going to want to open up SSH. As I mentioned, if you do not know how to do this, uh, I have the link in the description to watch Kevin's video. Right, I'm just going to open up my file here, so I'm going to need it. Click Run here really quick. Log in. Password. Everybody knows the password's Alpine. Alright. That's what it has to be. Start it up. Okay. Now we're going to come back to that in a second. Alright guys. Uh, I'm going to post this in the description too. So look over there. This is your uh, site. To get the bio. Okay. It's called Dragon Ball Arena. Alright. But I'm going to post the exact address over to the right as I mentioned. Okay. You're going to scroll down until you get to this screen right here. Alright. Uh, you see the little PlayStation icon. See that? And uh, to the right, you're going to see four downloads. Okay, guys? You're going to go down to the third one. It's going to say, right here, if you guys can see me highlighting that. It's going to say scph1001.bin. scph1001.bin. Third one down. Click download. And I want you to save that to your desktop. Okay? It'll make it much easier to navigate. Or you can save it to your documents, wherever you know you're going to find it. Okay? Just save it somewhere. You can drag it into your SSH. Alright, guys? So now, as soon as you get saved to wherever you did, I want you to go to your uh, SSH, okay guys? Now I want you to click on the arrow up here, okay, where it should say, it should say wherever you are, but okay, uh, right here, the arrow, and I want you to navigate down to VAR, VAR, okay guys? I'm going to take you to a bunch of folders, you're going to look for the mobile, not mobile device or anything else, just simply mobile, alright, right there, I want you to click on it. And now it's going to bring you more folders. Click media right there. 
Okay, now after installing that PSX for iPhone, you should automatically see a folder that says ROMs. This will also contain all the other ROMs you have installed on your iPod if you have any, you know, any or something like that. Alright, click on ROMs. And now, uh, as I mentioned, here's all the ROMs you have. I have quite a bit. Uh, but all we're interested in now is the PSX. Okay, so click on the PSX folder. Alright, and uh, mine already has the bio in there, but yours will not, so you're going to need to drag it in there. Okay, guys? So, you can either navigate onto your left, wherever you saved it, or you can simply drag it from your desktop or wherever else. And I want you to drag it right into this folder, okay guys? Until it's, so, it should say SCPH1001.bin in that folder, okay guys? And then, you are good for the bio, or bios, rather. Alright, now, uh, all, you have to do, all you have to do now is uh, get to the ROMs, okay? Now, uh, I'm going to post two good, really... Uh, Two really good ROM sites to the right over there once again in the description. I'll give you the links, but uh, I'm only going to show you one in the video. This one's called Emu Paradise. Alright. I'm just going to scroll down here. Uh, after you come into the exact URL address, you're going to scroll down into the uh, PSX ISO section and you'll see all of these available ROMs for you to get, guys. Uh, there are a lot, but just in case there's one that you're, uh, uh, there's one that you're particularly looking for, it's down in here. Uh, like I said, I'm going to post another one in the description called Ram Hustler. A site for that, alright? Anyways, uh, I'm just going to click on one. Let me show you what do here. Uh, how about... Let's see. How about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater? Alright, guys. Now, I've seen uh, multiple, way to, multiple ways to download them from this site. Uh, some people get navigated to this screen. And then in the bottom right over there, it says proceed to download right there. But some of the people just get automatically to the download screen, and they'll see a bunch of files to download, you know, like right here. But uh, in this case, it's one of the ones you have to go a bit step further. So you're going to click proceed the download on the bottom right, as I just did. And then it's going to bring you to this. Okay, guys, uh, you're going to see a blank box, and then a, a empty bar that is blanked out, okay? You're just going to read the di uh, directions here, okay? Just click on the link above to see the sponsor below. So, see this Mario link? I'm going to click on that. Boom, my box here in the middle went uh, full. Okay, now we just got to wait for this page to load, and this little bar down here, it should uh, be filled in and available for us to click it. Alright, guys? And it says proceed to download ISO. So just give it a minute, or a second or so. Let it load up. See, it just uh, filled up. You can see that? It'll turn red once you hold your cursor over it. It says thanks, happy downloading, and it's immediately going to take you to another screen. Alright, and you're going to navigate down, and you see there's the files, uh, you have to download all of those. They are not big files, but when compressed together, which is how you need to, well, not comp how do I put it, uh, you have to drag those into your, um, SSH, into your iPod, that makes it big, because they're all compressed together, as I said, but individually off the internet here, they are not that big, so don't get freaked out about that, alright? So you're going to download all the necessary files, alright guys? And then save them, once again, to your desktop or documents. That's what I recommend. Somewhere you know you're going to find them. And then I want you to stay in the same PSX folder, right, guys? And you're going to take all of those files and drag them right into the same folder underneath the BIOS you just dragged it into. So that's your uh, VAR Mobile Media ROMs PSX folder. Okay, guys? And uh, then you are good. As soon as you have that in there, you can navigate back to your iPod or iPhone, whatever you're using. And, uh, once again, the PlayStation icon. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Alright. And, uh, as I said before, I don't have any demos to show you guys because it's big files and a lot of space. A lot of time, rather. So, uh, your ROMs will be in here. Alright, so just click on them and happy gaming. Alright, hope you enjoyed it. If this video helped you, we'd really appreciate a subscription or a five-star rating to get us more noticed. But, uh... If you don't, I mean, it's okay. Just uh, hopefully it helped. And please rate, count, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to PM me. Thanks for watching, guys.